the first king of Aurea attempts to attack a dragon in his kingdom, but fails. All the king's soldiers are killed, leaving the king vulnerable to the dragon. Centuries later, Elodie, played by Millie Bobby Brown, the teenage daughter of Lord Bayford, played by Raywin Stoney, receives a marriage proposal from Queen Isabel of Aurea for her son, Prince Henry. King Roderick leads a fleet of ships and carriages filled with gold. Elodie agrees to the marriage at her father's insistence to aid their struggling people. Facing harsh winters in their northern kingdom with empty stores, they journey to Aurea with Elodie's sister, Floria, played by Brooke Carter. Elodie, known for her maze design skills, embarks on this journey with her family. Upon arriving in the opulent kingdom of Aurea, the Bayford family is awed by its grandeur. Elodie, from her chambers, spots a mysterious fire atop a nearby mountain. Initially disinterested in each other, Elodie and Henry bond over their shared love for travel. Meanwhile, Lord Bayford is offered a huge sum of gold by Queen Isabel in a private meeting, but his troubled demeanour upon exiting raises concerns for Lady Bayford. Lady Bayford's attempts to befriend Queen Isabel fail when Isabel insults her background as the daughter of a rope maker. Isabel makes it clear that the marriage is purely a financial arrangement, as her family needs a bride and Bayford needs money. Isabel even misidentifies Elodie as Eloise and dismisses Lady Bayford's pleas to end the engagement. After Elodie and Henry's wedding, they participate in an ancient ritual in the mountains to mark their union. Isabel explains that their ancestors encountered a fierce dragon that terrorised their villages. The dragon, the last of its kind, defeated the king when he tried to vanquish it. In order to secure peace, the king struck a pact with the dragon, agreeing to sacrifice his three daughters in exchange for safety for his people. This agreement is remembered and honoured every generation. During the ritual, Elodie and Henry's hands are cut and bound together to symbolise their union. Henry then carries Elodie across a treacherous path above the dragon's lair before throwing her into a chasm, which is part of the ceremonial tradition that harks back to the pact made with the dragon by their ancestors. Elodie, after surviving the encounter with the dragon, discovers that she is not the first sacrifice and that there have been many others before her. The dragon mistakes her for a member of the royal Orion family due to her blood scent being masked by Henry's blood during the ceremony. Escaping the dragon with a burned leg, Elodie finds a cave filled with glowing slugs that she uses as a light source. She eventually reaches a chamber with a message carved on the wall, suggesting safety from a mysterious entity. As Elodie rests, the slugs miraculously heal the burn on her leg, providing her with both physical and emotional relief. Elodie found herself at a dead end on the mountainside while following a map, which led to a dangerous vertical drop. This location seemed to be the dragon's lair, where she stumbled upon the sad sight of dead dragon hatchlings. This discovery shed light on the reason behind the royal sacrifices. The first king had killed three dragon hatchlings, leading to the dragon's vengeful attacks. The king had begged for mercy and offered to pay any price, resulting in the dragon demanding the sacrifice of three daughters from the royal bloodline in each generation for peace. A rescue party led by Lord Bayford arrived, but he confessed to striking a deal with the dragon, sacrificing his daughter for gold and prosperity. Overwhelmed by guilt, Lord Bayford faced the dragon and paid the ultimate price along with his daughter. This sacrifice provided a distraction for Elodie to escape on one of the rescue party's horses. The dragon's pursuit led to a fiery chaos as Elodie hid under a rock, eventually managing to evade the danger and flee from the mountainside. In a fiery blaze, Isabel receives a warning that Elodie may save in herself 
likely through a sacrificial act, has not succeeded. This leads Isabel to a drastic decision of kidnapping Elodie's younger sister, Floria, to serve as a replacement. Upon receiving this information from Lady Bayford, Elodie heads back to the mountain to rescue Floria, who has been spared for a specific purpose. Elodie devises a plan to protect her sister Floria from the dragon. She decides to distract the dragon by creating a diversion while instructing Floria to hide. Elodie then bravely confronts the dragon, attempting to reason with her by revealing the deceit of the Orions. She explains that the Orions manipulated the situation to make it seem like the king had to defend his people by attacking the dragon, when in reality, the dragon was peaceful and unprovoked. Elodie draws on a significant event where the blood of the brides and the Orion royals mingled during the wedding ceremony, falsely linking the princesses to Orion royalty in the dragon's eyes. Despite Elodie's efforts to persuade the dragon of the truth, the dragon remains sceptical and launches an attack. In a moment of quick thinking, Elodie manages to trick the dragon into burning herself by leading her to spew fire towards a rock that deflects the flames back onto the dragon. With the dragon temporarily incapacitated, Elodie seizes the opportunity to confront her about her history of killing innocent daughters drawing a parallel to the actions of the first king. However, instead of seeking vengeance, Elodie chooses to show compassion and understanding. She uses the healing powers of glowing slugs to restore both herself and the wounded dragon, demonstrating an act of goodwill. Through her mercy and empathy, Elodie earns the dragon's trust and loyalty. Elodie disrupts yet another royal wedding at the palace, marking the third time in this generation that a princess is being offered to the dragon by the Orions. Elodie exposes the treachery of the Orions and urges the new bride and her family to escape. The dragon, in a fiery display of justice, incinerates the palace with all the Orion royals and nobles inside. Several days after these events, Elodie, Floria and Lady Bayford return home by sea. Their vessel fully stocked with supplies and they are accompanied by the dragon on their journey. Preview